Hi, I'm Steve Owens, and today in Steve's Kitchen, as part of this week's Nutella Bonanza, we're going to be making this braided Nutella tear and share bread. This is a delicious recipe. It looks great. It will impress your friends. Now, let me show you how we're going to make it and what you're going to need. The dough we're using for this recipe is an enriched dough, a little bit like a brioche dough. And I've got 450 grams, that's a pound of bread flour in here. Now it does have to be weighed out rather than with cups because it's far more accurate. Now I'm going to add the dry ingredients. I've got a third of a cup of sugar and I'm using dried instant yeast here. I've got two teaspoons of that, I'm just going to pop that in the bowl. And a pinch of salt which I'm going to put the other side of the bowl to the yeast so it doesn't inhibit the yeast in any way. Now just take a fork and mix those dry ingredients together. Now into that I'm going to add some melted butter. That's about 30 grams or an ounce of melted unsalted butter. And three quarters of a cup of full cream milk, which I've warmed slightly in the microwave so it just help activate the yeast. Now into the mixture I'm just adding the yolks of two eggs. I'm going to keep those egg whites for a later use in the recipe. Now we're just going to take our fork again and start to bind these ingredients together. And I use a fork because it just keeps your hands clean to start with. And after a moment, we're just going to get our hands in there now and start to combine the dough together. Now this is starting to form a nice dough, I'm just going to take it out, pop it onto my workbench and I'm going to start kneading the dough now. At the moment it's a little bit grainy and gritty, but as you work this over 5 to 10 minutes, you're going to get a beautiful smooth silky texture. Now of course you could do this in the stand mixer, but I really like to do this by hand, it's your choice. Now I like to knead this for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes you're going to end up with this beautiful silky rich dough and if we squeeze that round and draw that round you can see when you push your finger into there it springs back beautifully. So now back in our mixing bowl I'm just adding a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil and I'm just going to pop the dough in there, roll it around in the oil and then we want to cover that over with either some cling wrap just to keep the moisture trapped in or a damp towel. And because this is an enriched dough, it's going to take a little longer to rise than a normal dough, so I'm going to leave this for a couple of hours in a warm area to rise, or at least double in size. Now you see my dough has risen beautifully. It's got a lovely elastic texture to it. I'm going to bring that out now and pop it onto a warm surface, not onto a cold worktop. And I'm just going to knock the air out of that. And then I'm just going to roll it up tightly. I'm then going to divide the bread up into four quarters. Now let's take one of those pieces of dough and I'm just going to roll it into a ball. Then taking a little flour on our surface, we're just going to take that piece of dough and then we're going to roll it out until we get a 20 centimetre or a 10 inch round circle. A little bit like a pizza dough, you can just spin this on the surface and just push it out towards the outside to stretch it out nice and thin. One final roll, now that's looking a good size to me. Now I'm using a dinner plate just to work out my size and that's about the right size that I want. And at this point I'm just going to slide that piece of bread onto a greaseproof baking paper. I'm going to take my plate now and put it onto the dough and push it down just to make an impression. And the reason being is because I want to put Nutella on here now but I don't want to be doing it on the areas that I'm not going to be using. Now in a small bowl or ramekin, we're just going to take about a cup of Nutella. And because that's thicker than I want it for spreading on this dough, I'm going to warm that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. That just makes the Nutella a lot more runny so we can put it on here without uh, misshaping the bread. I'm going to place them on the centre there. Then you can use a knife or a spatula just to spread the Nutella evenly across the dough and try to keep it as close to those lines as possible. I'm now just going to slide a baking tray under there and I'll pop that aside while I prepare the next layer. And now we're going to repeat the exact same process with the next two quarters of dough. And with this second layer, when we've got it the size of the plate, what we want to do is we want to lift it and lay it over the top of our first layer. So now we've got Nutella between those two layers. I'm going to pop the plate on top again push it down just to make a mark and I want to spread that warm Nutella over the surface again. Then pop that aside and repeat for the next layer. Now that's the third layer there, I've checked it's the right size. I'm just going to lay this one across the top of the second layer. 
Again, pop my plate on there, and just push it down. Now this is the last of the layers in which we're going to cover with chocolate. So we're going to set that one aside now and prepare that final top layer. Now we're going to lay that final layer across the top, just stretching it out a little bit, make sure it's the full size of the plate. Then I'm just going to take it off of my baking sheet and I'm going to place that plate back on top of the four layers. Then what I want to do is take a very sharp knife, push down firmly and cut away the excess of the sweet dough. And then what we should have when we pull that away is a perfectly round layered Nutella bread. Now I'm going to take a small drinking glass, I'm going to place it as best centre as I can and I'm going to leave that there in the centre whilst I take a sharp knife again and I'm going to cut all the way through the dough at 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock and then I'm going to divide each one of these in half and then again I'm going to divide each of those segments in half once more. Now the next thing we're going to do is a bit tricky if you've got a camera in the way but um, what I want you to do is take up each of these pieces and twist them twice around and the second piece next to it we want to twist in the opposite direction twice around and lay it back down. You see if I can just show you another one you could do them both together like this you lift both up and turn them in the opposite direction to each other twice around and then lay them down like so. And I'll just continue to turn the board around we're going to lift these up double turn and lay them down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is lift this finally for one stage and I'm just going to pinch these two edges together. I'll just do another one to show you. We just continue in the same direction. I'm going to pinch these two surfaces together. And what you end up with is this beautiful floral shaped bread. And I can slide that now back onto the baking tray. Now I'm just going to cover that with a damp tea cloth and leave it for 20 minutes or so just to let it rise a little bit and whilst I'm doing that I'm preheating an oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now our oven is nicely up to temperature and you remember the egg whites that we kept aside well I'm going to use those now just to put a surface, I'm using a silicon brush here just to coat the top of the bread before it goes into our preheated oven. And there it is, now I'm going to pop that in there for 15 to 20 minutes just keep an eye on it, we don't want it to go too dark and there it is, out of the oven. That looks and smells delicious. The whole house absolutely is full of the smell of baked Nutella and bread. Now we need this to sit and cool down before you start to try and eat it. Now will you look at that? That's cooled down now. It looks absolutely delicious. And it looks a picture too. I almost don't want to break a piece off, but here goes. Pull that away. My, that is absolutely fantastic. It's sticky, gooey and chocolatey. I wish I could share a piece of this with you. Come on, reach out and take that piece. I'm going to give it a try. Yum dingity. That is not going to last long at all. That is so good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed another Nutella crazy recipe today. Don't forget all this week we'll be doing Nutella recipes because it was World Nutella Day last week and also it's Valentine's coming up. So I thought chocolate should be the theme of the time. Please share the love, give this one the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video, take care. My, these Nutella recipes are absolutely fantastic. Did any of you notice the deliberate mistake during that last recipe video? I'll let you comment down below if you did. Anyway, I'll leave some links to some other videos here. Please subscribe, stay in touch, be good. See you next time.